Hey, what's going on, guys? Alex with Born to Compete. Well, you see, we're talking high school sports right now. Listen, I got the man right here, the monster, the beast, one of my favorite players who I thought personally should have been the player of the year for, like, everything. The state of Georgia, the country. Derrick Brown, man, one of the best players at Lanier High School. Defensive tackle. How did you prepare yourself this season? Because everybody wanted to see you play. Everybody on the you know, offensive line was trying to make his name off you, so to speak. How did you prepare yourself this season, this offseason? Uh, I mean, I knew coming off from having a big year last year that it was going to be a harder challenge. And I mean, I kind of was so focused on having a good year my junior year that I kind of didn't have anything at first to push me through my senior year. But I mean, my coaches taught me a whole bunch about stepping up and taking a leadership role and sitting down with my dad and talking. So that's what kind of pushed me to be the best I am this year. So that if I'm playing at the highest level that I can play, that the rest of my team will see as an example and it will go towards what they do. You were a leader of that team, and you did a fantastic job. I know the season didn't end necessarily like you wanted to. I mean, we, we know that. The, the championship is the goal. But just give me your synopsis of the season itself, man. You put, you had a fantastic year individually. I mean, individually, yeah, I had a pretty good year. But, I mean, the stuff that my teammates bought into this year was big for me. Because at the end of the season, we were all coming back. Everybody's like, well, this team's not going to be as good. I mean, and at the beginning of the season, you couldn't have told me that we were going to go 10 and them. But, I mean, you get it going. You see everybody starting to flow. You going into the first game. Not so hot against the first game versus Tequila in the scrimmage. But the next week at Lambert, we came out, and everybody's kind of just like, oh, like who is this? This is a repeat, repeat team from last year. I mean, going 10 and them in the, big, in the regular season, getting another region championship for Linear High School was big for us, and I mean, it, the playoffs didn't end the way I wanted it to, but I mean, it's definitely strides for them to look better next year. You've, you, this has been reported, you can play any technique. I mean, you can go from one to, let's say, a wide nine, for example. I mean, we know you can do it. What do you like doing? Uh, I can do it. I like doing them all. Uh, inside guys are not as fast. They're kind of heavier, so they kind of sit back, and then it gives me time to take off on the ball. Tackles, I mean, you just got to have brute strength. When I mean, you're going against a tackle, if he lean in he good, he'll be able to stick that, chest, that hand right in his chest. Everybody knows you're a big-time recruit, okay? Now, we can't get around that. And, of course, there are a lot of schools that, you know, are, are looking for you to play at their school. You know, I'm not going to say what school do you want to go to. I would never say that. But what schools are you, you know, what, what, has, what has caught your interest as far as the type of defenses out there that you want to play with? Uh, I mean, all the schools I want to go to uh, are definitely versatile in the whole defense scheme. I mean, playing for Coach Pruitt, Coach Muschamp, Coach Smart, uh, Coach Jancic, and just playing at State. I mean, all those schools are big time. So, I mean, it's been it's been a blessing to me to even have an opportunity to go and play and look at these schools. But I mean, I think it's good for me to wherever I want to go at this point that that everybody's so different. So last question, uh, and we ask everybody this question. You know, the end of the season has come, and they're eventually going to talk about you as a football player and what you've done. What would you like them to say about your football career uh, as an individual and as a teammate? Uh, I mean, I definitely feel as myself. I feel like maybe at first I wasn't such a team-first guy, but then, I mean, you get a big wake-up call when you have to actually produce and be that dude for the team. So, I mean, I just want to be known as a team first type of guy and somebody that was always willing to do do that and be a team guy. I love his answers, man. I don't know why he has always has the best answers like ever. You should have saw the interview we did when he won player of the week, man. Well, this is the guy here, Derek Brown, the best. It doesn't get any better. Again, check us out, man, Friday nights on the ATL 1030 with Jeff Hullinger and the crew for all the Friday night sports action. We're going to get this guy here to smile. And then <laughs> check it out on NBC is 11 Alive at 11.15 for the high school recap as well. So that's it, man. Anything else you want to say? You got it. Uh, I mean, I see when they're doing big things in the future. I mean, I may not be there no more, but I mean, you might want to watch out.